Hey everyone, it's David. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. We were having a few days over 100 degrees, so I decided to water my cactus. The heat should cause these pots to dry out fairly quickly, which is exactly what they like. Today, what I wanted to talk about is the causes of cactus splitting and cracking open and what you can do about it. I noticed earlier this summer that this Lophophora cactus right here had split open on the side. This type of cactus is prone to this happening, and I'll tell you why. Cactus are slow-growing plants, but Lophophora are slow-growing even for cactus. These plants here I started from seed 10 years ago, and you can see they're still quite small. What causes a cactus to split open is usually caused by the plant growing too fast for it to handle, triggered by too much fertilizer, or even simply by too much water. Nitrogen fertilizer is known for causing rapid green growth in plants, which cactus are not equipped to handle. I believe what happened to this plant here is I had fertilized a plant that was on a shelf above, and that fertilizer leached out and down into the pot down here, causing this plant to get too many nutrients and splitting open when it grew. Luckily, what's nice about this particular cactus species is that the way it grows. This damage will not be visible in a year or two. The cactus grows out from the crown, which is the center point here. So over time, this will become less noticeable. But since these are slow growing plants, it generally does take more than a year. The same thing happened to this cactus right here. I believe it was last year and you can see how much is still visible. These are resilient plants and can recover from pretty significant damage. Let me tell you about this cactus right here. Several years ago, some creature came in and bit off the entire top of this cactus. I swear it wasn't me. I was living in an apartment at the time and I had these cactus in a patio greenhouse on my balcony. So I assume it was some small creature like a mouse or a rat that came through at night. I hope whatever it was, it had an eye-opening and powerful experience. So after that happened, this cactus was missing the entire top, pretty much down to soil level. There was no crown or growth point. I just left it alone and the wound calloused over. It took a long time, but eventually a new growth point appeared and it's almost like the cactus has been turning itself inside out from that top point. You can see it's not quite perfectly round yet, but it has slowly improved over time, and I think that eventually you won't be able to tell that this cactus was so severely damaged. But not all cactus are like this. On many cacti, damage will be visible basically forever. For example, if a columnar cactus had split from too much fertilizer or from too much water, you will often see the split happen on the stem in this area. Once that happens, it will callus over and heal, but the damage will be visible forever. The cactus will continue to grow and get bigger and taller, but the old scar will always be visible. All you could do is cut the cactus above the damaged area and try to reroot the plant, or if the damage was high on the stem, you could try cutting the plant low and hope that it sprouts fresh new growth. This is why it's very important to measure properly when you are fertilizing your plants and only fertilize during the times of year that the cacti are actively growing. You also never want your cactus to sit in water and stay wet for too long, which is why I water my cacti when we're having hot weather. Prevention is the best medicine. Even if the plant has a self-healing growth habit like these, it will take years to get a damage-free cactus again. If this is something you have noticed on one of your plants, and you'd like to save it, I would simply leave the plant alone. You could treat the wound with hydrogen peroxide or with horticultural sulfur. You could also try moving the plant to a more protected area and be very careful not to overwater. Once the damaged area has calloused over, you can return to regular care. Hopefully cactus splitting won't happen to you, but if it does, now you know what to do. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.